pro filter lip look okay mm. Mm. hello if you <coughs> If you've never seen me before, hi, my name is Yuki, and if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. For today, I'm going to be trying some new eye stuff, some Piaro stoves, you know. Um, it's gonna be mainly Fenty Beauty, but I got a little bit of other stuff mixed in okay what am i doing i don't know i've already tried out this fancy beauty pro filter lip lo oh gosh it's such a long name pro filter lip loving scrub stick okay why, why is this hump here my hump my hump my hump needs to go down see it says swipe over lips in a back and forth motion then wipe off i've tried this one other time and it's cool oh yeah my lips are very dry it smells so good Oh, it smells so good. Ow. It's so, ow. It's, ow. Oh, y'all see that? You can see the apricot seeds. Don't do that. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> I think what I'm gonna do today, I'm just going to respect myself and do my eyes first. Up close and Personal. Now we've got the Pro Kisser Luscious Lip Balm. I love that sound. Now this is my first time trying this product. And let's see. Mm. And I am definitely gonna be needing these products because I'm gonna be doing a lip swatch. <gasps> I'm going to now clean up my eyebrows. I don't know what in the world this is, but it gotta go. I'm spoiling my markets. For the eyes, I'll be using the P. Louise base. This one is in rumor four. Cause you know we are gonna be flicky today. This alone is an eye look. Like what? Oh, it's magic juice. Dun -dun 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 -dun. And I, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Just a little bit. There was a clip I saw on Twitter with J-Lo trying to hit us. She was trying to hit a note, several notes in a song. <laughs> Sorry, I, I have to compose myself. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm all right. I'm all right. You know, I'm all right. <laughs> ah! Today I'll be using the LA Girl Hot, Hot, Hot Heat. Wait, is it? Wait, is it? Hot, Hot Heat. <laughs> Just look at it. Take a look in my eyes and see what I see. Apparently these don't have individual names. I have the other one, the LA Girl Hot, Hot Heat, but in I guess blue or multicolor. It's a mess and I'm not gonna do that again. I may not use this one at all, really, because I just, I cannot come out guanky myself, I'm sorry. I don't wanna do too, okay, every time I say this, I do too much. So I'm just gonna try my best because I need to use the fancy neon liners because I'm, I'm hitching inside my body. So, okay, that's a little bit weird. This shade white chia. Let's get down to business. Hey, pigment. Oh, yeah. This is what I like to see. Really powdery, though. That is one thing I will tell you. At least this shade, anyway. And I'm stamping along the perimeter. There's barely any product on my brush, so this will kind of give me a nice softening effect. The color I was actually using is called Voyage. The diagram on the back is just kind of like hard to tell what's what. Now I'll be taking the shade that's called Flame, and that's this one right here. I just want to love you right here. Hey. Uh, uh. Uh, for whatever reason, this shade doesn't have as much kickback. I'm gonna keep this relatively close to the brow area. I'm gonna mix these two right here, Cabana and Getaway. I don't know if it's because this is just maybe not deep enough. I mean, it's there, it's just not there, there. Let's use this shade. This one is called Energize. Can you tell I really do not wanna mess, I, I really do not wanna do a cut crease. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this yet. <laughs> 
Next, we've got the Fenty Beauty Vivid Liquid Eyeliner Trios. That yellow might have to get it one time for one time. For the one time. Next up, we've got Bay Watch. Super vibrant. Next up, we've got Bay Side. <laughs> oh, wait, this is not a yellow. This is a neon. I might mess with this neon one time for the one time. Why do I keep saying that? This is Banana Blaze. This blue right here. Calling my name. It's called Hot Tub Club. I'm gonna go back into the Bay Cake Trio and pick up Hottie Alert. Oh, it is part of the packaging. If you look very closely, the splotchiness on the uh, upper portion of each liner is uniform and you can actually feel it's a little bit raised on the packaging. And if you look very, very closely, you can see that it indeed is part of the packaging. So no, they were not separating. So I'll be using these three, should be fun. Uh -huh. I'm just gonna make an outline. Oh, my hand is shaky, but oh, this is vibrant. Yes, Fenty. Then I'm gonna use Hottie Alert. My hand is shaky. Then we've got Hot Top Club. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I messed up. So I'm taking the pink, overlapping it a bit with the yellow. So we've got a better gradient there. I will say though, these are pretty opaque, especially for the pastels. Okay, I guess we're making everything thicker. <laughs> I'm gonna actually flip this and apply the blue first as liner. Look at how opaque that is oh my gosh and I'm gonna take the pastel pink and pray for me this looks like a baby shower I <laughs> a freaking gender reveal I look so if you want to go back and add more you definitely have to wait for that first layer to dry and then you can go back in I am getting a little bit of a slight burning sensation now I don't know if it's because of the amount of liner that I have on very very close to my lash line but it's quite uncomfortable. And this is not the first time this has happened with liners. I've had other liners that have given me the same um, reaction, especially when used right here. You know, not too shabby. When I have on the rest of my makeup, I think this might actually like, you know, be popping, popping. Do a little bit of overlapping. Why is this, why does it look like that? My eye shape is so beautiful that it does this. Oh, that's burning, that's burning, that's burning. <laughs> Now that that is all done, it is now time for the Popsicle Juicy Satin Lipstick Swatches. Here are all of the colors, you guys. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, okay, okay. This shade is called Alpha Doll. Swatch away! Oh, I would have never guessed that that's how it was gonna come out. I would definitely use a liner with this. The top is coming up a bit orange and I think that's because I have foundation on my lips and I don't like doing swatches where my natural lip colors are showing through because it's, it's, it's not the same. So this is Alpha Doll, okay? This is what my natural lip colors look like against a full face of makeup. This one is called Tropic Tantrum. See what I mean? How they almost look like two different shades, but here's Tropic Tantrum. Ooh, pink's like these making your teeth look yellow. Look at that. Ugh. They don't go on super slippery for whatever reason I thought they would, but they don't. However, they do feel very comfortable and of course they are satin lipsticks. So I'm gonna add a little bit of foundation over top, hone that down. Next, we've got the shade Motorboat. And that's what that looks like. All right, let's see how this goes. Um, you know, there's some people that can rock this, but I'm not one of them. This is not one of my talents, being able to rock colors like this. It's a bit tainted because of just that bit of foundation that I added. So, but low key though, motorboat goes with this look. I don't know, what you guys, what do you guys think? My lips are not happy with me. Next up is a shade called Go Deep, and I'm assuming it's like, you know, the deep part of the water because it's bluer, I guess. On my monitor, for whatever reason, this is picking up very blue and it's really not picking up the greens that are in it. These are pretty darn opaque for them to be satin lipsticks. This is kinda cute, okay. Uh, you know, we don't have any liner on and it's bleeding a little bit, but hey, why is my printer keep turning on by itself? So this is Go Deep. Next up is Sun Snatched, which looks like a super duper 
pretty orange. This reminds me of Fanta. <laughs> These colors are so pretty. So here we've got Sun Snatched and sh Ooh. she's cute. What is wrong with this printer? The power is not going off. There's nothing, nothing significant is happening. I don't know what, you know what? I'm not gonna stress. I'm not gonna stress myself because in 2019, I cannot come out go and keep myself. Next shade we've got is, oh, this is such a cute name. It's called Perpsicle, like, yeah. So this is Perpsicle and she's cute. <laughs> oh. Oh my God. Oh, I like this color. I wish this was the last one. I'd probably just keep it on and then like, I don't know, put something purple on my lower lash line or something to tie it all together. <laughs> this is so cute. Here is Perpsicle. Well, this entire process has definitely exfoliated my lips and removed all the extra dead skin cells. And last but not least, we have Hot Blooded. Huh? Do you see it? Okay, focus, thank you. So here we go. It's looking nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute, baby girl. I might as well just, I mean, like, is this it or not? Here we have Hot Blooded, okay. So about this collection, love the liners. There was a little bit of crackling, like you know when the liner starts to kind of like separate a bit and it starts to like form cracks. Some of that was happening at the lash line, but I think it's because that's the area that moves most frequently. You're blinking and all of that stuff. So I just went over it. I do like that these are very opaque. The LA Girl Hot Heat eyeshadows. I uh, don't really care for them. I'm sorry. Like for whatever reason, they just weren't. They weren't quite doing it for me, and I don't know if it's how they layer on top of one another, or maybe it's just because some of the colors were a bit on the powdery side, and shoot, I didn't try out the shimmers. I know the shimmers are probably gonna be fire because when I swatch them, ooh, and the shimmers are so soft. Ah, oh, that's one swipe, one swipe. What's another one? Let's do this guy. One swipe, look at that. Obviously, their shimmers are shimming. They're definitely shimming. I think what killed it for me was those browns trying to lay them on top of that orange. It, it just kind of looked a little bit muddy, but, but I think it might be due to the fact that the browns were not deep enough to give me that dimension that I was looking for. But anyway, I mean, everything's still put together, so. The Poutsicles, these colors are daring. This is literally for someone who is daring. Like if you're afraid to walk outside with red lipstick on, don't even, don't even bother. I kind of want to switch over to that blue and put it on, I don't know. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to put on Motorboat and take a photo of it and just, you know, take a picture with it and put it on Instagram and see how it does. And I'm sure somebody will have something to say. <laughs> but yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me. You're the MVP of the year, VIP of the year, VVIP of the year, player of the year, YouTube watch of the year, you are everything to me. If you want to see the picture that I end up putting up with the blue lipstick, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I'm at Yuki underscore Y-O-U-K-E double Y underscore. And I'm also on Twitter, on, on Twitter, 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 on Twitter. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And I hope to see you in the next one, Lord willing. Stay blessed. Bye.